Hi, just uh, saying hello to everyone who's watching now uh, and to any of you who are watching this back on our Facebook page. Um, welcome to another Virtual Talk Tuesday. Unfortunately, it's not one in the flesh, but we are obviously in another lockdown. So uh, we are talking to the lovely Hayley from uh, Generation Events today. So um, we are going to just be going through um, what Generation Events does what they're about Haley's going to give us a bit of an overview um, if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to ask um, feel free to pop something in the comments for us um, if you give StreamYard permission it will let us see your name and then we will be able to answer your questions for you so hi Haley. hello <laughs> um, so do you want to just give us a bit of an overview about uh, what generation events is yeah, absolutely. So uh, Generation Events has been running for around 10 years now. Um, it started with myself and my husband and initially it was just um, DJs. Um, so my husband used to go out uh, over weekend and then we started getting more and more requests. Um, so we got a bigger team and weddings became a real passion, particularly of mine. Um, and so we started looking at what else we could do alongside the DJs to give customers that kind of one-stop shop experience, get as much as you can with one company. So it's really easy to, to deal with on the day. Um, having got married ourselves um, just the year before we started the business, we realized that to make that day perfect, which it was, you deal with so many different people, whether it's somebody for a photo booth, a DJ, a cake, your dress, and on the day, all of those people and all of those items have got to come together to to make sure that everything goes perfectly. And I thought, well, actually, we can do a lot of those items and we can make that experience so much better and so much easier for people. Um, so that's when we started branching out and buying a few more products. And we started with things like sweet carts um, and decorational items. And as the years have gone on, We've got a bit braver and a bit bigger um, and we've been able to get some of our most popular items um, such as photo booths, uh, the love signs um, and it's just grown year on year and we always listen to to the customer because they, they do know best and sometimes we'll be asked if we provide a product and at that moment in time we might not but if we can see that that is an upcoming trend because that's the thing yeah. with weddings, the trends are cha they change month on month, year by year. So we listen to what people want and our range is ever expanding. Um, so it's just really been a happy accident, if I'm honest. And 10 years down the line, it's become um, our business and a huge passion. We've got a massive team behind us. So when you book us for an event, you'll often deal with myself or Louise. Um, and then on the day, it can be one of many staff that will come out to set up your event and even attend it on the evening. If we're doing something like a photo booth, we'll actually have staff there all night to make sure it goes perfectly um and again on the evening we'll come and collect all the following day and we liaise with you right up from the moment of inquiry to your booking to make sure that everything goes perfectly fab that sounds good so it's so great that it's all uh, still come together yeah it is, submit, uh, you know obviously as we do a lot of weddings the more suppliers you have on the day the more the logistics become a bit tricky yeah so it's, it's fab to absolutely all in one place um so just going back a bit then so what you started with your djs what yeah. other what other bits do you have now what's popular that people like to have what now? is popular so <laughs> i would definitely say our photo booth and our magic mirrors are really popular um our we've had to expand how many we we've got just to, to cater for people's needs and i i don't see that trend going anywhere anytime soon um love signs uh mr and mrs signs or the initials anything um to, it makes it quite personal but also it adds lighting um and lighting is probably not something that with the lights on. yeah so like with the fairground lights on um and again if you go on our facebook um, and a bit later on i can i can pop some photos on to show everyone they're a really nice way of adding decoration but also a great way of introducing lighting and when people are making their wedding list lighting isn't necessarily something that people would think of, of putting on their list but it's a really easy way to transform the the overall kind of aesthetic of your venue and you can go from something really subtle and soft in the daytime to absolute party mode of an evening so lighting is really popular and really important djs and photo booths are probably our top selling products as well Fab. Yeah, so the lighting, I think I, we find as well up here that you can really change like the, the theme or like the mood you're going yeah. for 
and what lighting you've got. So yeah, so you, do you guys do outside lighting as well? We can do, yeah. Um, our most popular style lighting is up lighting. So they are small, really compact units um, and they can be wireless if need be and they can be dotted around inside or outside um, and they will go any which colour you, you want them to go and they can change as well. So they don't have to be static they don't have to be the same color all the time they can filter okay. through colors or of an evening when you've got your dj they can go along to the music so again you could have something a really nice kind of pink to go with whatever theme you've got on the daytime just kind of subtly in the background but really kind of changing the mood of the room and then on an evening the same piece of equipment can contribute to making a, a real party scene um so that's good you know. that's, that's it's nice to know that you can kind of have one thing and not have to change lots of bits and pieces yeah. throughout the day. You can just have it ready to go. Yeah. That being said, seeing as we're coming up to Christmas, do you have any festive things that you hire out for like Christmas parties? Do you have any like particular Christmas lightings or snow machines or anything like that? Snow machines are always really popular. We've got a few of those. Um, they are really popular at Christmas time and they also go out with, um, we do a few children's packages. So we've always got those to hand. Um, Again, um, going back to photo booths and magic mirrors, the outside of our photo booths are customizable. So there's loads of different skins. So you could have it set to look like a little Christmas log cabin or with snowflakes on. And again, the backgrounds within the photo booth are customizable. So if you were having a Christmas party or just a winter themed wedding, um, you can have loads of different backdrops to make your guests look as though they're stood in you know, a field of snow or whatever. Um, alongside that we like to do a lot of uh, props as well so if you are having a kind of winter wonderland we have um big white trees light up trees um to kind of add to that effect you could put them on the table or you can have them on the floor um so yeah lots of different kind of christmas not necessarily christmas but winter themed winter products themed. that would work yeah yeah right. winter wonderland is a, a very big wedding theme that i picked up on a few years ago and we've definitely expanded the range to to jump on that back and lots of sequin table runners and anything that glitters, glitters and lights <laughs> <laughs> yeah that seems to be what I just thought only because it started we started to see festive lights and things out and I suddenly yeah. wondered I haven't asked you before but I suddenly wondered if there was any particularly Christmassy bits you did say thank you yeah so quite interesting so I think winter weddings are probably uh, on their on their way up aren't they I think yeah and with you know in the winter the weddings can't always make the most of the outdoor space so making the inside that little bit extra special i think people tend to do instead of utilizing what would normally be an extra bit of space outside sure absolutely right so um with all those bits in mind what's it best to do is it best to have a look on your website on your facebook how should people kind of go about thinking what they might want our website definitely has all of the basics for you to have a look at. Um, Facebook is probably more fun to look at because if you're anything like me, you're very visual. And whenever we go and do a wedding, we take lots of pictures. So there's loads of setups, plenty it, them for house as well. So you can actually see them in, in the environment that you're intending to use them. Um, mm -hmm. Facebook's really good. And then if you have any questions, Facebook is where you're going to get hold of us quickest. We tend to check that periodically throughout the day and then again by email which is just on the bottom of the screen we tend to man as much as we can as well a little bit less at the moment but yeah <laughs> um so obviously at the moment I know we all know that COVID has uh, been fun for everybody but do you normally let people um come and meet you face to face when things yeah. are busy yeah we much prefer to, to meet people. I think when people are buying a product, they're also buying into the company and to the people. And I think it's really nice to, to meet us and to know who we are and what we're about. Uh, we have a showroom in Quedgley, um, which is nice and easy to get to. It's just um, just by KFC, if anyone um, needs a, a pinpoint location. Um, we have a showroom there and we tend to change the products in there month by month so that you can come you know, if your wedding's two years away, you can come and see us a few times if there are particular products that you want to see. Um, and then wedding fairs as well, we try and take a lot with us. Um, and that's where we would aim to meet people face to face at least once before their big day. So you can come to us or we can meet you at a wedding fair. But it's good to come to us because then you can look at the exact products that you're hoping to see, sit down with one of our sales reps and fire away any questions you might have. Amazing. So initially, if someone gets hold of you, give you a call or send you an email. And yeah. then when we're open again, are you 
allowed to have people in? Are you having still having meetings or? Yeah, so if we revert back to the the tier that we were in before, so tier one, um, we we can hold one to one or one to two if you're from the same household, which if you're getting married, I assume you would be. Um, <laughs> And you can come down, meet with one of our reps. Uh, we've got everything in place to make sure that your safe hand sanitising stations are, guys will all be PPE'd up. So we tend to use face visors so that you can still communicate with us without muffling through a mask. Um, and all of our products are in the showroom so we can still keep a good distance from you as well. But yeah, we do intend to, to go back to that as quickly as we can. Fab. So there's nothing stopping people that are planning for next year or the year after from still coming No, to- absolutely not. Well, I mean, weddings don't stop. Um, you know, they, they've been on pause for a little while. And for all of those that have been affected, I can imagine it's been horrendous. But we've managed to postpone or move, I think, all of our all of our weddings that have been affected. Um, means a busy 2021 in 2022. Um, but hopefully was everyone get the days that they were looking for. <laughs> so how are you looking for next year? Have you got availability? So if there's people that are still looking for next year? Are there, you- there is availability but it is unusually busy um because on top of next year's existing workload we've now got four five six months i suppose now of postponed weddings on top of that as well so there is some availability but if it is 2021 i would get in touch sooner rather than later even if it's just for an availability check we can look at that instantly um, and let you know amazing um so just going back then to your products i was going to say yeah. have you have you got any particular favorites that was a a thing <laughs> yes um did you know and it's funny because it changes anything that sparkles so i love the lighting that we do um we've got a few mr and mrs and love signs but we have one again i'll put some pictures up later an italic love sign with fairground style bulbs and it just it's just a bit whimsical quite magical and it it adds really nice soft lighting um great for photo opportunities it's just a good all-rounder and it can stay there from the very beginning of the wedding right through to to the evening do so it's one of those things that you can have all day it's fairly cost efficient but still a, a big statement piece as well um alongside that i love our magic mirrors photo booths are, are really nice super popular but the magic mirror is just something a little bit different i love the the look of it and the fact that it's not too invasive in the room um so they're probably my two my two favorites so what, just in case anyone's not seen your magic mirrors, what do they do? I've just seen a comment actually from Leon from Wednesday saying that he loves your mirrors, they're fab. So there you go. <laughs> they're, they're really good fun. So they stand, I would say, at about five foot tall. And it, at a glance, it just looks like a huge floor standing mirror. Um, but it is a completely interactive screen. Uh, again, you'll always have staff there with it to make sure that you, you can use it properly. Um, but from that screen, you will navigate your way through taking a picture, editing it, putting on any stickers, leaving a little message, and then it's instantly printed. What tends to happen with the packages that we provide, um, it's a double print and one will go to the guest and then the other will go inside of a scrapbook. And we will encourage those guests to leave you a lovely little message along with their picture. And at the end of the night, the bride and groom will go away with a book full, hopefully full of pictures and a USB, so they've got a digital copy of everything as well, so they don't miss a thing. But that sound amazing, they sound really good. I don't think I've seen them up, up here, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. <laughs> right, so um, if, for example, I was just gonna talk a little bit about any packages that you kind of offer, things that go together. Um, if anyone's thinking, oh, I need a DJ and I also need this and that, how how does that kind of work? Do you do set things or bespoke things? What's, what's that? We don't tend to do set packages only because we tried that and then we realised everybody needs something completely different. So that didn't really work too well. So it's always bespoke because everybody, everybody's different. So you come to us, you tell us exactly what you need. I call it your dream, your dream list. So money, no object. You look through our, our product range and you tell me everything that you would like to have on that day. I would then put the best price that I can together based on the products you've chosen. And if you go, oh, that is way more than I was wanting to pay, we then go, right, what things could you could you go without? And we'll work to a point where we can get as much product for the best price. 
right. and at a point that you're happy and obviously the more you get from us the better kind of discount that we can offer because and again this is why we we do what we do is rather than five different companies having to pay five lots of overheads and drive five different vehicles to your venue it's one company it's one product and then just a few people on the day to get those products there so it makes more sense for you as a customer it's super easy to deal with and then it makes sense for us because it's one one job at one location but we can take as much stuff as you need us to amazing that's so great well thank you very much so um i was well i've kind of gone through all the questions that i was going to ask you so have you got anything else that you can think of that we might like to tell people um or any kind of final things that we should say yeah i mean the best thing that i can the best bit of advice that i can offer when it comes to to booking is to get in early and i think some brides are always worried oh i don't want to i don't want to ask yet because it's 2022 or 2023 it's never too early never too early get in touch we can give you the availability we can give you an idea on pricing and then from that point you can make a decision and those things can change along the way if you want to add stuff on or take stuff off along the way that's absolutely fine but it means that that date's in the diary you can secure your date with a deposit as low as 99 pounds and that's whether your your total balance comes to 200 pounds or 2000 pounds 99 pounds secures your date and from that point you know that you're in the books and we're coming and from that point you can we're totally flexible you can decide how much or how little we bring and that might change right up until the week before it often does um but we'll be there through that whole process so i would just encourage to get in touch early and, and to come and see us wherever you can whether that is at glenfall house when when we can all meet again hopefully soon um, or down at our show because there's nothing like seeing the products for yourself and speaking to one of our advisors who can give you a little bit more detail on things that you didn't necessarily know you you even wanted <laughs> didn't even know that you needed until we saw them exactly well, exactly <laughs> uh well um i hope that everyone has found that um useful and informative because i know that i have and i'm actually very tempted to pop down and have a look at your showroom not that i'm getting married today. <laughs> <laughs> just to be nosy <laughs> hints never go astray do they um so if anyone wants to get hold of Haley or um contact generation events their um email and their contact number are at the bottom of the screen now um but i know that they have their facebook page and, a web and their website obviously i'm sure um Haley, you'll probably pop the details of that and those in underneath maybe later so people can get hold yeah of absolutely i'll keep an eye on the comments and um, if you've got any questions or you want to see any pictures just let me know i can pop them all in the comments section um, or you can message us directly on the page um, or through email. The phone number isn't manned at the moment. The offices have been closed, um, but it will be as of, I want to say, the second or the third. Um, so for now, email or Facebook is best. Amazing. Well, it was lovely to talk to you. Um, and I hope... Yeah, I think lovely to see a new face. <laughs> well, there you go. So <laughs> see people on paper and then finally get to actually see somebody. Well, I know, a real person. <laughs> um so hopefully i will talk to you again soon but thank you ever so much for talking to us um you're and very welcome no problem at all. next week lovely we'll see you soon thank you so much take care bye, bye.